Justin Fields. When you go through something, unmerited adversity, it makes you stronger. I'm tired of thinking about the future. This is toxic. Trevor was out the box a little early. If I get on this bench press and I just keep going at my muscles and they're tired and they're fatigued, a couple days later, they're gonna be strong. Thank you, sir. I gotta go. I love the control, the competitiveness. All right, Justin, why Georgia? Adversity, it, it helps you grow. It's always been a dream of mine. They had no chance. Three. Zero. I'm not afraid of a challenge. I know at the end of the day, it's just going to make me a better player. There's something in him that I've never seen before. There's been too much talking lately. We played the Sugar Bowl, we played Texas. I think it was New Year's Eve. Justin Fields, number right. one prospect out of high school last year in the country, backup quarterback, freshman from Kennesaw, Georgia. Lots of rumors in the lead up to this game that he is transferring. You saw him go through what he went through at Georgia and not get the opportunity to play, and you're like, man, I thought this guy was supposed to do this. And Texas will win the All-State Sugar Bowl. We lost that game, and literally I went back to Georgia two days later, packed up all my stuff. Georgia quarterback Justin Fields expected to transfer to Ohio State. I mean, I think the toughest part was leaving his friends and teammates behind. He recruited half that class. The day we moved Jaden into her dorm room at UGA, we also moved Justin out. His building was right here, and then my building was right here. She was literally getting there right when I was leaving. And um, you know, my parents, of course, wanted us to be at the same school at the same time, but it ended up not working out that way. We drove the truck up there. And everything is being taken out of the truck and put in my room, and then everything is taken out of his room and put it in the truck. So it was just like a, it was like a weird moment. And that same night, we left to drive to Ohio. And obviously, this is a huge get for Ryan Day. A lot of people thought he's the best quarterback prospect to come out of high school in the last five years. Me coming from Georgia, you know, growing up where it's sunny, hot, the sun's always out. Being in Ohio in the winter, it was definitely different for me. Boy, you look cold tonight, Rob. Colleen, saying it's cold would be an understatement at the moment. I think in the first month I was there, the sun was out maybe three days in that, in that first month. And of course, it's about 30 degrees there, so it was just a different environment for me, and I just wasn't used to it. I promise you, I dropped him off on Saturday, and he called me on Monday. Dad, this isn't for me. Uh, I, you know, I'm ready to come home. Can you come and get me? I was kind of by myself a lot. You know, I called my dad and was like, um, I don't know if I can, you know, do this. Me being new there, you know, everybody having their own kind of cliques, their own, you know, people that they hang out with. It was definitely different for me. That different environment kind of just gave me a shock and I, I didn't expect it to, to happen. So I definitely uh, called my dad up one day and was like, Dad, I, I think I want to go back. I said, well, let's pray about this, son. Let's let's give it a little while longer. They were too busy about the build up, and I feel like I don't want to feel it. You know, he just told me to stick through it and, and pray and just fight through the, you know, first two weeks. And he said, if you know, I felt the same way a week or two from now, then we would think about it. I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference. Literally, the, the next day after we had that conversation, I think some of the guys on the team, we, we we played basketball, and I just felt, you know, finally a part of. You know, the team. 
me just interacting with you know my, my new teammates and me kind of building uh, those relationships with them definitely uh, helped me a lot and you know feel more at home at Ohio State. Even as good as Trevor Lawrence is, and he's had a really great freshman year he's playing, you know, it's got Clemson in the national title game. Oh, most people I talked to in, in, in the coaches thought Justin Fields was an even better prospect than Trevor Lawrence. You know, Justin Fields needed a place that could just get him on the field, get him reps. With me, the more reps I get, the more confident I get. Set. It's that simple, just the, the more times I'm throwing routes to a certain receiver, the, the more comfortable I get. Justin's decision in Ohio State made nothing but a ton of sense to me. Like, he really had a good understanding of what the culture was, what the situation was in the quarterback room. There's a lot of old heads. Anytime a quarterback gets in the transfer portal, they're gonna be like, well, this is, this is the new age where guys are just, you know, if they don't win the job, they quit and they run. I think what Justin Fields indicated was exactly the opposite of that. The talent is going to find its way to opportunity now. When you go through something, unmerited adversity, it makes you stronger. If I get on this bench press and I just keep going at my muscles and they're tired and they're fatigued. A couple days later, they're gonna be strong. I thought it was really an empowering moment for college football. God had a plan for him going to Ohio State. We saw him in high school. We saw him at Elite 11 dominate. Just took a shower, just brushed the teeth. About to hop in the bed, watch some film. Wake up tomorrow, around seven o'clock, 6.45. It's time to play. Just so much anxiety, you know, your butterflies in your stomach. Like I was so, Excited for him. Please. It's a good day today. And we're gonna go tomorrow and get it up. What? Good night. What do you want? We always go back to that first touchdown. And it's time to feel dropping down. Watch out. It's just like a piano we just kind of threw off our back. And you say, hey, let's go, let him be him, because I knew he could do it. It was just crazy, you know, being in the shoe. The 100,000 people, they're screaming, the band's going crazy. The atmosphere is unbelievable. Just gives you goose bumps. Justin Fields, hello! Columbus, 51 yards! Fields with a big hole, and then you see that explosiveness. It was just a matter of getting a chance and getting a shot to do that. He had his opportunity to show all his skill set at this school, where he had tremendous support for his running backs, receivers, offensive line, defense. He was able to do that. It ended up being the right place for him. I don't think I could have ended up in a better place. I think it was just like a coming out party for him. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Jeremy Ruckert, the motion man. Fields keeps it. Touchdown, Ohio State.
watching Justin play at Ohio State was just a sense of relief, right? Because it was a confirmation of all the things that you thought going through all this. It was exciting to see him injected into an offense that understood how to utilize him, that was, um, that was gonna build around his strengths. He saw it all. Justin Fields, two passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown. I think Coach Day did a great job with developing me and making my job easy, especially my sophomore year being a first year starter. I had a lot of talented players around me, and of course our defense was very good. I think that kind of you know, helped me uh, gain confidence. It isn't just about game day. It's everything they don't see. Early mornings, late at night, my grind is different. They'll hear my name on Sundays. Let's work. Just seeing it finally pay off on a big stage with huge crowds was just awesome. It gave me goosebumps. Just made my heart very happy. So I was just very excited for him. And I just know how hard he's worked. You saw the way that body type could impact a game by shrugging off and powering through defenders. You saw the elite arm talent. The accuracy was there. All of a sudden, the guy's practically perfect. Two of the best quarterbacks in America will face off here Saturday night in the Fiesta Bowl, talking about Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence, of course, has been there, done that. Fields has waited with this opportunity. The hard part about those games, you know somebody got to lose. Fields again, looking to throw. Loops the ball up. Leaping catch by Garrett Wilson. Lawrence in a foot race. Will it catch him? Touchdown, Tigers! Wow! I feel like he's worked for everything he's got. Obviously, he's a great Fields player. Again. Tries to make the defense, throws on the touchdown! You know, he's, he's always been a highly recruited guy. Lawrence, the run, comes here in the middle, ETN in space, ETN, 10, rings, touchdown, Tigers! Fields will try to outpoint Lawrence and get Ohio State to a victory in the Fiesta Bowl. Got to call that timeout with 43 seconds left. Second down, Fields, scans downfield, fires to the end zone, it's intercepted! Picked off by Nolan Turner! And the Tigers are not going to be dethroned tonight. They'll punch their ticket to New Orleans. I'm tired of thinking about the future. The future is just... Toxic, like... Yeah, what's up with it? Do it because I love it and I stuck. Let me show you where it this is. is. I don't know if it's gonna go that far. Please, none of the talks I heard enough of it. Like, you where you at, who you wait. You were a little kid, like, you wanted to win. You weren't worried about how many yards you have, how many fleets you have. Touchdowns you had, if you scored one touchdown, you was happy. But like, that's how I gotta get back to. So, worried about how many touchdowns they got. Is my completion percentage. How would you best describe your performance? I'm not looking at numbers, not looking at that, just, just the win column, so. Like right, how many picks I got in and all that. Good play and uh, make plays. Buckeyes and Tigers familiar by now. They meet for the third time in the semifinals in the last five years. What we had gone through the year before, you know, playing Clemson in the Fiesta Bowl in 2019 and losing 29 and 23 to them just seeing, you know, how everybody was in the locker room after that loss. And, um, you know, Coach Day told us that, you know, remember this feeling. Remember that you never want to feel like this again. From when they walked off that field last year in Glendale, they've been waiting for another opportunity to go up against Dabo Sweeney and the Tigers. And that was so exciting. I just was like, oh my gosh, like this is really going to happen. The game is a playoff game, so I was trying to do everything I could to get the first down. Third and 13, Fields does have time, and now takes off. I spin on that play, and you know he ended up guessing right and just smacking me. Fix it. Oh, oh, hard hit by Skowski, who knocks it down. Got yeah. My heart is pounding. You can see his head bounce, his body bounce. 
Man, 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 he's done. I think I did cry a little bit, honestly. I don't even know what to describe it. I guess you can describe it as like Thor maybe throwing a bowling ball right at your ribs or something like that. I've told him time and time again, don't spin. Throw that spin move away. It's Fields, is he okay? Can he continue? Finally help to his feet. He got up and came right back. That's, that's the most impressive part about it, you know? He fought through it. Now he's showing some toughness there. I, I, I bet he's not pain free at the moment, but he's not gonna let that stop him. I tried to throw on the sideline and every time I would throw, it would hurt in that area. I think the only thing that, you know, got me through that game uh, was just my teammates and, and, and my coaches. Guys trying to stretch the seven point lead. Fields on the run, launches for the end zone. Delivered a strike. Uh, you, you talk about guts. Justin Fields showing that right now. Seeing Justin get hit like that, know that he was injured, know that it was hard for him to even breathe, and him continue to play at that level, I think showed everybody across the country not only is this guy super talented, but he's a competitor. Took a brief look downfield, then took a big hit from Phelan Spector again. And I think that everybody you talk to, when you hear them talk about Justin and how he competes, they know that he's not about losing. It was incredible. I, I couldn't believe um, how well he performed. From the pocket, a strike across the middle. You know, actually, I could believe it because that's Justin. Crispy, yeah, that boy Bresby had the tongue gleaming. Yeah, I know they can't miss me. Seen the boy a mile away, my kicks is really heavy. Looking like that mean, then that boy's really special. That is so Justin. Fields down the field. He's not gonna let anything stop him. His legs are still working. He was gonna finish that game because he's too doggone stubborn not to. It was almost like he was in a different zone. Victory formation for the Buckeyes. Everyone here tonight on their side will savor this memory forever. You saw Justin Fields come to life, and you saw Trevor Lawrence evolve. Tigers are not used to losing games like this. It all beats all of our expectations, and it did. With those two guys, it really did. Of course, I always have respect for Trevor, not only as a player, but as a person. I hope it's just beginning. I hope there's more to come from those two guys. After, you know, the national championship game, I was just trying to help my body recover. I really wasn't paying attention to the mock drafts. You know, the pre-draft process is, is pretty funny. You know, you got teams that start to overthink things. I thought it was some bull honestly. The way that Justin was covered. People said a lot of things about Justin when they didn't have the information. It's either a bias that you have to quarterbacks who look like Justin and play the way Justin does, or somebody who is going out of their way to try and cause Justin to slip in the draft and their guys to get moved up. They're called experts. I don't know where they get their expertise from. I probably paid attention to that a little bit too much. It didn't surprise me, it didn't shock me. Justin Fields is still developing. When you've been a five star and a number one candidate in the country since your junior year in high school, it's just really easy to try to nitpick. The most discouraging part is I was around him watching him work, watching him get better. 
I know sometimes it's hard. You know, I, of course, have to stay off social media. Wrote this big thing out to tell somebody off on Twitter, and then I had to hit the delete button. Don't even give them the time of day. You have your moments where you see something crazy and you want to respond, but, you know, you just have to um, remind yourself, this is a battle I'll never win. But like me and him always talk, he said, man, Ron, is just their opinion. And then that's what I always tell him, is people's opinion. And what can we do about it other than just keep working to get better and just prove that they are wrong. Got a smash concept this play. Cut. Draw back in the pocket, stay patient, eyes down the field, he breaks free. Complete the ball. Touchdown. That's how we do it. The NFL Draft is weeks away and features one of the best quarterback classes in years. His pro day, he came out locked in, focused. 32 and 4. We're built for this. Going through what he went through in Georgia, just running the ball and, you know, not being given an opportunity to pass very much. 74 and 6. We're built for it, you know, going to Ohio State and going through what he went through there. 227. 227. We were ready for it. He threw the ball really, really well. And I remember when he came home after that, we worked out. He said, Ron, I've done all I can do. It's just whatever they think about me, I can't change that. All Justin ever did was show up and work. Kept his mouth closed, said the right things when he had to, but he just showed up and worked every single day. And he was constantly questioned. And I, I don't, I honestly don't think that would happen if he wasn't a black quarterback. Because you are such a nerd, I go out and tell you this. Personal director told me that anybody who thinks Mac Jones should be drafted over Justin Fields. Does it really matter to you? Hey, I mean, if, if, if they do that, then, then that's on them. I mean, I think I'm the, I'm the best quarterback in this draft, so um, if, if, if I get the quarterback drafted over me, then it's they just have to look at that position and, you know, I just, just, just hope they can play that team. So that's what I'm just going to do today. Who's going to lose that? Who's going to lose the Clemson? They're going to see. I don't have to see it. I always just keep it in the back of my head of who said it before, who, who said I can do this, who said I can do that. Like, it just stays noted in my head, like, Justin Fields can't read defenses. I know that they'll be wrong. I mean, other people will bring it up. So all I gotta do is just do what I do. So on draft day, obviously, he was excited. You know, he, he's worked all his life uh, for this moment. It was cool being in the home that I've kind of grown up my whole life. You know, having, you know, my close family members there where so many conversations with my dad has happened uh, and, and a lot of things that have, have happened in my life so just being kind of home and you know having uh, another memory there was 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 definitely awesome it's always been a dream of mine we were excited but exhausted at the same time yeah um i'm not gonna lie i felt kind of disrespected a little bit you know, i have four brothers and they're all texting me where do you think it's gonna go where do you think it's gonna go and i said the bears hello justin hey how you doing man Oh, what's up, coach? How you doing? Doing good. How about you? You ready to Chicago Bears? Let's do it. When the Bears called, you know, I know a lot of people look at it like, hey, man, he didn't look excited. He didn't look happy. I think for him it was just, hey, you know, you know, this is just another chapter in my career. It wasn't, hey, I made it. With the 11th pick, my Chicago Bears select Justin Fields, quarterback of Ohio State. He was already starting to mentally prepare for, okay, when I get there, you know, how do I go about my business? You know, my mindset when I got drafted was, 
You know, it's it's time to get to work. It's not I, I made it. That kind of I made it mindset, you know, is, is kind of complacent and uh, I don't want to get complacent. There's been too much talking lately, so you show your work, that's it. I know that, you know, me being drafted to the Bears was just the beginning. You know, we were just glad it was over. All that was said in the press, it's like you just want it to be over so they don't have anything else to write about. I was like, wow, the Bears. I was a linebacker, so what linebacker's not a uh, Mike Singletary fan? You know, who doesn't like sweetness? And, you know, that 85 Bears team that won the Super Bowl. Are we bet? Let's bet 50 on-command push-ups. So wherever we are, no matter where we are, if I say give me 10, you gotta knock it out. If we're out at a restaurant, give me 10. It's been awesome, you know, just getting here after the draft. I didn't know Chicago was this nice, so I'm definitely happy I got drafted here. Nice meeting you, have a good one. Thank you. Go Bears. Go Bears. The one I'll be driving has a, usually has like a little park thing. We're in park, these are. I love golf, but I definitely got to work on my iron game a little bit. Ah! Mm. I've gotten a lot of you know practice in, in, in top golf, so I, I think my driving game is, is definitely pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Should I try to get it? <laughs> I gotta get better. Ah, <laughs> that wasn't good. Mm. Uh oh. When you're doing this, it's never good. <laughs> My iron game's not not gonna cut it right now. <clears throat> I don't even know where it is. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is not about to turn into Animal Planet. Move on to the next one. I need this one. My man Sam has been talking crazy to everybody all day. So we finally gonna see what he got. Come on. Simeon, he's always known to talk trash. I'll bet you 50 push-ups. Come down and talk to me. All right. My man Sam has been talking crazy all day. So we about to see what he's gonna do. You know, we had a couple of bets for push-ups out on the golf course. He's been talking crazy. All right, come on. You're doing all this talking for no reason. <laughs> that was horrible, man. Ah, ah. It's fun to do, um, especially when you have a, a close group of friends and you know you can just get out there and, and, and have fun. Ten push-ups right now. Ten push-ups. Twenty. Twenty. Ten push-ups. Ten push-ups. Push push twenty. Stop being a baby, bro. Twenty push-ups. Yeah. We had a few bets on there that you know, if I think we were betting on who could throw it closer to the putt, and I ended up losing. <laughs> See, that's how you get them. I've always been competitive from a young age, and that's that's kind of where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see how Justin impacts like the way we look at quarterbacks. I think that that's a guy that's been in big moments. He's played in big games. I love the control, the competitiveness. He'll always be a guy that is sort of seared in my brain as one of the most memorable prospects I've covered. Justin Fields is going to be like the model of quarterbacks moving forward. Big, strong, fast make all the throws and process information. Like, if someone gave you all those characteristics, that's the guy you'd want. This is a guy that has an opportunity to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. It's gonna be fun to watch the ride.